Why, hello everybody, welcome back to a little bit more Kingdom Come, woo! Yeah, we're out here in Sasau because I figured uh, we should probably stop messing around with a bunch of uh, side quests. We should probably do something that's, um, you know, back in the main storyline, so that would be fantastic. Because, you know, we, you know, we gotta get on with stuff, and I think my horse is starting to get on with it too. Like, good god. Um... I guess it just really wants to eat grass, but it doesn't want to bend over that much. But anyways, um, yeah, we didn't get on with the main story quest. I think we're supposed to go out here, search a wagon, explore the crossroads, meet with the merchant or something. I don't know. People are crazy. Who knows? Are you a crazy horse? We're all crazy people. How about we go and uh, find out about, yeah. you know, all the trader with the glittering gold? Because why not? We'll be back. Don't worry. You'll love us. Oh, yeah. they're still here to greet me. How are you guys doing? Go! Help! I'll kill you all! Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. What about you? Oh, it's so I'll good to see you too. Oh, <laughs> He's just yeah. been around forever. Yep, yeah. we're up here on the road. Going on up. This is like one of the roads you yeah. never really take. Because why would you? But, oh, yeah. yes. Look at this few dead people it's not even my type of work yeah you got some basic stuff you want to dress up nice i guess nah henry doesn't need it this he looks valuable. fancy enough they must have been in a hurry or they'd never have left it behind is it valuable i don't know henry you're still seven hundred thousand rich you know so yeah so if you want it's a little further down the road before you find that cross road wagon um Basically, I can't show it off, but basically you keep going down this road down here You'll run into a little abandoned house and inside the abandoned house. There's nothing of course, right? You're like, yeah, whatever, but there's something interesting start digging Yeah, and you just loot them and ooh, look at that a decorated saber so it's all right, it's no soul sword, but um it's different. You get some money, you get a ring, and you get a nice sword. I don't know if the decorated saber... Would you let go of Henry? God, even in death you're annoying. But we got things to do. How, you guys want to help me with the investigation? I know you do. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. Don't do that. We got places to go. Come along with me. Charcoal burners. Someone must have seen or heard something. Yeah, charcoal burners. Go get them. How about you? In the wrong place, in the wrong yeah, you get him. Yeah, this guy has the right idea. Hey, boy. <laughs> he just Next. gets knocked out. <laughs> You're all right. You get the live. I like it. We just double. Hey, what? You want to get knocked out too? Oh, you think it was a good idea to pull out an axe on Henry? Oh, wow, you are utterly resistant. I didn't kill you. Who killed you? Where'd you get that? Where'd you get that weapon? Ow! What? Oh, God. There you go. You can enjoy. <laughs> There you go, that's what I wanted. Henry's just why <laughs> There you go, mercenary. That's what you get for not telling me all the information. You get to be pummeled to death by <laughs> for all eternity by me. <laughs> oh my god. Well I got things to do, but I'll leave you boys alone inside there. You guys can um Enjoy. <laughs> I like how you can just hear that. Nobody bother him. It's fine. Everything's fine in here. What? How? Wait, what? Wait, what? How did you? Oh, God. He has him in a corner. I, I did not think this would have happened. All right, Henry. Just back up. Just... Have your hands up. Close the door. Let them do their own thing. 
I was not expecting that. Um, yeah. Someone must have seen or heard something. All right, let's do it for uh, real this time. Let's see. Um, I know people got things to ask about. Char Charcoal Burner, talk to me. God save you. What can I do for you? God save you, Charcoal Burner. Enough bullshit. I know you dragged somebody here, so tell me what happened. I don't know nothing, and I haven't seen nothing. If you want to know something about it, just ask Boyar. I don't want nothing to do with it. All right, Boyar. You chunky little bastard, talk to me. You're what passes for bristle and gristle around here, are you? Yes. Is that a problem? Yeah. I want to talk to him. I, I, I don't know. He paid us. We're not to let anyone near him. We've been through that already. All right, all right. Just calm down. Yeah, boy. For fuck's sake! Yeah, get out of here. You knew what was happening. The best part is if you grab him. He just shows up alive anyways. How's it going, Wounded Guard? We got things to talk about. Who are you? Do as I say, and you might walk out of here alive. What? What's that? What do you mean? Don't worry about it. Just answer my questions, and I might even help you. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, he's carrying a body. So. You should probably answer that. <laughs> All right. So, like, even though Henry's carrying this body, it's like a cutscene, so it's fine. So you're like, eh. Where's the, the coin? coin? What? What coin? I will not. See, so he still the shows question. up alive. I, I don't know about any coin. I stopped. Ah! Where are oh. those sacks you took from the wagon? Sacks. He's obviously You're dead. And yeah, so he's still. Yeah, he's still right here. I had him. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. You gonna try to get away from Henry? I don't think you'd be able to get away from Henry. Not when he takes out your horse. Hey, where are you going? Yeah. Oh, don't try to get away from Henry. Oh, he's getting away from Henry. You... Oh no. Are you alright? No. <laughs> what was that? What was that? <laughs> Such a waste of young life. But you left me no choice. You leave me no choice. <laughs> <laughs> no. Why'd you give up? Who is that driver? It seems I have finally met my match. Your match? I think you meant to say you're superior. What's your name anyway? No. So you're not a knight? I cannot say. Who are you working for? No. And what about that wagon? What happened there exactly? I cannot say. Very well. I shan't beat it out of you. Unfortunately not. Godspeed. I will wait in Sasso at the Wagoners Inn. Yeah, you made it! I'm happy to see you again, sir. Hmm. Likewise. No doubt you have many questions. No. By unheiling. We will talk. Not here, however. The wolves have ears. Let's meet at the pond after sunset. You'll find me waiting by the big willow tree. No, oh, I don't want to come to the pond after sunset. After sunset, I said. No. No. Heilige Maria, by the pond. Do you understand? No. Do not annoy me now. Be on your way. All right, we'll meet you after sunset. It's fine. I mean, it's not that far away. Hey, how's it going? You didn't see me here in this tree? Um, Henry's just floating in this tree. You just don't care, huh? Well, we'll just wiggle on down. I wonder if we can... No, he's too far away. We can't just wiggle our way through. Eh, yeah, that's a shame. You would have loved it. I just want to know why you ambushed that wagon. When I saw you with the charcoal burners, I assumed it was they who sent you. No, definitely not. How is it you say, you scratch my back and I will scratch yours. You will introduce me to a certain person. 
and I will tell you everything I've learned. I don't think I could honestly recommend you as a suitor to any of the ladies I know. You're old and slow. There is speed and there is skill. One grows his age as the other decreases. Fine, who is it? Master Tobias Feifer. If your jewel is Surf Sir Radzik, then you must know him. I think I know who you mean. What do you want him for? I have here a written confession which tells how those forgeries are made. But I do not understand such technical matters. Master Feifer, however... We'll definitely be able to make sense of it. And you'll give it to me, just like that. It seems I have little choice. This is the last lead I have. All right, so we made it all the way back here to Ratte, and we got to speak to Master Feifar. Master Feifar, I need to speak with you. I found out something about the counterfeit coin. Hmm, which certainly confirms my suspicion that something underhand is going on in Sasso. Anyway, we should be careful. You will go to Sasso at once. Look around the forges in the city. Someone must be working copper for them. I, meanwhile, will take counsel with Sir Radzik and then follow after you. Where shall we meet? At the inn on Sasso Market Square. Ah, okay. Well, there we go. So we get to meet him out there. So I think he just uh, starts to sit down again. All right, fine. Whatever. And you can't do anything to him. Can't stealth kill him. Can't do anything. What a terrible thing. But goodbye. So we rode all the way this way for him to tell us to go all the way back. Thanks, game. Especially on hardcore mode. What's your deal over here? What do you gotta talk to me about? You got your own activity? Farmhand? Do you want something? I do. And you look like the kind of fellow who knows a thing or two and wouldn't mind a bit of work that's not entirely... Well... Honest. Well, then it's lucky for you that I happened along. Who do you want me to rob? There's a farmer who lives in the craftsman's yard. I'd like you to steal the groschen he owes me. And, also, a pouch containing an amulet he got from the herb woman. He's as superstitious as an old crone. So when he realizes he's lost it, he'll have a fit. I mean, we don't have to pickpocket him. We just gotta... Uh, hand over everything you own. No, just finish him off. Well, I'm back. I've stolen it. Um, don't ask me how. Here's the farmer's pouch you asked for. Great, thanks. He'll have a fit when he finds out. He won't get a wink of sleep till he gets a new one. You see, he's got this idea he'll be eaten alive by fleas and lice without his amulet. Yeah. He won't get a wink of sleep. When I worked for the farmer, I took a fancy to his maid. Only she's got someone else. A draper. He gives her fine shawls and chemises. And I don't have a chance. Go and steal the shawl she has. That's not very nice of you. But what do I care? I don't mean to do this, miss, but, um... Somebody wants your sword. Uh -huh. Or somebody wants your, um... Shaw, so, um... Yoink. Thank you. I brought you that girl's shawl. Thank you. I'll hide it in the farmer's bed and then tell the draper. He'll cripple the bastard if you don't kill him outright. One last thing. But it won't be so easy this time. I got my own back on the farmer and that wench. Now it's the draper's turn. For stealing my girl. Steal the tinderbox he carries. It's his pride and joy, and he's always boasting about how fine it is. Everyone knows it's his. Once you've got it, I'll set the whole bloody farm on fire and drop his tinderbox there so everyone will blame him. The Avenging Angel is at your service. I'll get right on it. God be with you. Yeah, I like the <laughs> I like this guy's style. <laughs> well, all right, uh, let's make his dreams come true. He's came to the wrong right place. How are you doing, my good sir? Oh. Oh, crap. He's getting away. Huh. Um. What was I doing? I kind of forgot what the heck I was doing. Um. I just kind of blinked. Henry just kind of blinked out and, um. Thing. But, anyways, um. Yeah, we want your tinderbox, apparently. Yoink. Hand it over. Um, I don't know why, but we get to have it. Oh, I brought back that tinderbox. Um, don't mind that half the town's gone. I've got the draper's tinderbox for you. <laughs> he who laughs last 
Last loudest. Here's the boots I promised you. Wear them in good health. And now I'll go and get my revenge. Been a pleasure. It's sad. I kind of waited for a while, and you know he doesn't what do the? anything. But what actually actually happens is that you know he doesn't burn down anything, but he gets caught and says like, "Oh <laughs> no, you know he hey, failed at his mission." Put that so Christ. don't worry, you get to be part of the collection. You have anything else on you? Yeah, I'll take that stuff. It's mine now. Now we get more quest items that don't do anything. Sorry, fam hand. You know, you were a good one. You gave some good little missions. Why not? And you, Procopius. I think you got a tooth or something I can grab out of you, right? Yeah, you still got the tooth. I thought we did that mission already. You're holding out. It's you on the road. What do you want? I barely tried to get out of this town and you got something for me? And it's safe as houses. Safe as houses? Have you seen the housing market out here lately? I don't know about you, and man. Uh, he's still beating him up. Hey, dear, how's it going? Can I punch? What? Did I just knock out a deer? You are the worst animal I've ever seen. It's like the weirdest threesome you could walk in. One guy just spent against the, the wall and the other two are just... So here's the pond you're supposed to meet him at. You know, after a certain time. But this tree is rather interesting because you can just... Um, well, first you just need to kind of jump up on a tree and you just kind of walk up a tree. And it's... Yeah. I wonder if this branch is still good too. Oh god, it is. I absolutely love this. You know, Henry gets to enjoy being the tree sort of thing. I wonder how this looks. Yeah, so you can take a look at him here and he looks like a Zen master where he's just floating. He's like, oh yes, look at me. Um, he's achieved Nirvana. Can we see underneath Henry? We're just gonna cop a peek. Oh, he actually, he's actually packing. 